ISRO plans ground landing test for RLVTD reusable launch vehicle. Vikram Sarabhai Space Center VSSC Director S. Somanath said that the next phase of the reusable launch vehicle project of the ISRO will be the ground landing test. Somanath said that the space agency is planning to have the next level of demonstrations including a series of tests at the earliest. During the previous demonstration we landed the RLVTD on a defined landing spot over Bay of Bengal. In the next phase we will try landing it on wheel, he said. He further said that they will also be validating the various methods and softwares used. After the previous demonstrations we will try putting the RLV in various orbits and perform experiments to get data and will try landing it on a strip, he said. He added that the first part of the mission is progressing with the available resources and the second phase will be undertaken after the government approval. It may be noted that on the 23rd of May 2016 ISRO successfully flight tested India's first winged body aerospace vehicle operating in hypersonic flight regime. In this experimental mission the HS9 solid rocket booster carrying RLVTD lifted off from the first launch pad at Satish Dhawan Space Center Sri Hari Kota. After a successful flight of 91.1 second HS9 burnout occurred following which both HS9 and RLVTD mounted on its top coast to a height of about 56 kilometers. At that height RLVTD separated from HS9 booster and further ascended to a height of about 65 kilometers. For that peak altitude of 65 kilometers RLVTD began its descent followed by atmospheric re-entry at around Mach 5, 5 times the speed of sound. The vehicle's navigation, guidance and control system accurately steered the vehicle during this phase for safe descent. After successfully surviving a high temperatures of re-entry with the help of its thermal protection system TPS RLVTD successfully glided down to the defined landing spot over Bay of Bengal at a distance of about 450 kilometers from Sri Hari Kota thereby fulfilling its mission objectives. The vehicle was successfully tracked during its flight from ground stations at Sri Hari Kota in a shipborne terminal. Total flight duration from launch to landing of this mission of the Delta Winged RLVTD lasted for about 770 seconds. In this flight critical technologies such as autonomous navigation, guidance and control, reusable thermal protection system and re-entry mission management have been successfully validated.